Good morning all. Look, one times converter. And we all know what that means. So this one is a boost converter and it has a couple of features that make me think it's similar to the 75 volt buck converter I bought recently. And they are things like the little plastic button tops that are on here. Very similar components used. We've got that little blue, I think it's a 15 amp fuse. Yes, it's a 15 amp fuse. We've got the fan sort of gratuitously screwed into the heat sink. Doesn't look like it's in the best position. I mean, it's not going to blow a lot of air actually through the fins. Might blow some air through that gap and then just generally onto these components. I suppose the inductor is near the fan. Same here. And of course, you've got that uh, aluminium. Oh, and it's actually the same size heat sink on the base. So pretty sure these came from the same stable. There's no branding on these. I don't think they're Ming He, although they very closely resemble the original Ming He power supplies. The only manual I found for this one is a Drock manual, but Drock tend to use the black PCB. So I'm guessing these are just sort of rip-offs of something else. So let's get this one powered up. I'm going to use a 2.1 to terminal block adapter. They're quite good these because the wire inside is so thin and feeble they kind of work like kind of five amp fuses or something like that. Uh, upside down pluses at the top. Uh, oh pluses at the bottom on this one. How interesting. So that will go the right way up. Right let's put some power to this and see what it does. Uh, comes up default 20 volts. That could do with a little bit of red insulation tape. Actually it's got a clear cover on there. I'll peel that off and put some red on it. It'd be easier to read. Right that's better isn't it? So 20 volts, uh, 1.2 amps and you get a nice A there to tell you it's amps. So actually as default set that will work nicely with a 24 volt bulb. So let's get that. Let's connect the bulb up. Now you've got to remember that even when the these boost converters are off they're on because the primitive boost converter topology which is inductor diode straight to the output can't actually shut the um, output off from the input so what we're getting here into the bulb is just what I'm putting in which is about 11.7 volts so if I turn this thing on we should now get the boosting up to 20 volts which we do that's all good now the other thing that makes me think that this is um, in the same stable as this buck converter is that if I turn it off, and of course off isn't off, um, pressing this button shows you the current and the voltage. Now if I change the voltage slightly, 20.01, what you don't get is that row of four dashes which says that it's saved. Uh, the information. In fact, what you have to do is you have to press and hold. You get F0, which is save. You have to just remember that. Press uh, enter and it says save to number zero. And you say yes. And it saves. Um, now, pressing and holding the set key as it is on the Ming He devices um, is a bit dodgy because it takes you into the calibration menus. And it's very easy actually to get. Um, one of the calibration voltages to suddenly appear on the output and that could be quite catastrophic because I think on this one it's 30 volts. Okay let's um, cut my which is up and down that's up. Actually, is that the same as this? Yes it is. Up is on the right. Well that's good. Let's take this up to 24. Should I worry about it being slightly off? No I shouldn't. Um, at 1.2 amps that's fine. Press and hold to save, function zero, save, yes. Okay, so now I can boost it up to the full 24 volts for this 24 volt uh, truck bulb, brake light bulb, possibly, or something like that. Now on this um, buck unit, the fan only comes on, I think if you get to about three amps. So they may have implemented the same on here, that the fan only comes on if you draw a certain amount of current I don't think I can put three amps into this bulb. Let's see what the current is actually. No, it's less than one amp because it's a 21 watt, I think, uh, at 24 volts. So yeah, less than one amp. 
So I'll put this one on. It is only 12 volts. I have to take the voltage back down, um, but it's 35 watts. So that is about three amps. So before I connect it, I'm going to wind this down. Let's take it to like 12.1 or something. Because of course, as soon as it loads the input, that will fall because I've got quite a lot of resistance. Oh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Uh, okay, 12.1. I said I wasn't going to do that multiple clicking thing because it does wear the buttons out eventually. Um, 1.2 amps. Ah, well now that we want to raise. So, oh, let's go up to 3.03 um, .03 amps. That's good. Mm, press and hold to save. Save. Okay, so I'll connect this up. Now, of course, once again, even when it's off, it's going to be on. Clamp these down on there a little bit. Uh, what's it drawing in terms of... Oh, I've switched it on. Now, what's it drawing in terms of current? Oh, 2.99. I'm going to have to raise the voltage a bit. Well, of course, that can be done sort of dynamically live. Let's take this up to uh, 13. That's interesting. It's not actually boosting up to the voltage I'm requesting. Yeah. Why is that, I wonder? Ah, I wonder if my current limit's not high enough. Um, 2.9. Yes, it probably is current limiting. In fact, we can see that because it's got the little CC LED on. Right, four amps. There we are. Ah, the fan hasn't come on. That's interesting. But that's over three amps, uh, 13 volts. No, the fan hasn't come on. I don't think it's temperature controlled. I think it is just current controlled. Uh, I'm not going to get more than three amps into that lamp without taking it to uh, a voltage that will probably damage it. What can I do? I blew up a perfectly good uh, H7, oh, I think this is, headlamp bulb. By putting 24 volts through it, I uh, had a momentary lapse of memory and uh, yeah, 24 volted it and blew it up. Now I'm limited on input current from this cable. The other side of it is a cigarette lighter uh, plug, which is plugged into a socket. I think there's a 5 amp fuse in there, so I can't just go on stringing more and more parallel bulbs on this thing to try and get the fan to run so we won't worry about that but what i will do is hook it up um this boost converter to this buck converter and see um whether they sort of talk to each other and also drive this up to 60 70 volts maybe because this has a 75 volt input make sure it's happy with that now if i plug this in of course they both come on because oh the displays are being driven very differently, aren't they? Oh, that hasn't got red tape on it. Better do that right now. Yeah, the point I was going to make is even though this is off, it's still letting the 12 volts through. A diode drop, but it's probably a shock key diode. So this is getting enough input that this thing can switch itself on. Let's put that tape over there. Oh, I biased it to the right, which was silly because we need to see these LEDs for constant voltage, constant current. And stuff like that right so what have i set this to three amps uh 12 volts so i'll jack this up to i don't know 50 volts let's say uh this should be happy with that as an input so uh this goes up it's quite slow isn't it perhaps i'll go to say 40 volts just in case it goes completely crazy will give me time to react I will save this as well. 40.02. Uh, current, I think I might drop back a bit. 1.9, why not? Uh, so I want to save that. Press and hold F0. Save. Yes. So 40 volts. Um, I want 24 on the output because I've got my 24 volt bulb. Well, I could go to about... 20 volts I guess on the output current limit I'm not particularly bothered about 19.9 that'll do 3 amps uh, once again press and hold to save save yes uh, okay that should be good so let's turn this on now that can only get 12 volts because it's going through there and uh, this force of course wants to get to 20 volts but it can't so now if I ramp this one up, 
this one gets 40 volts on its input it's limiting the output to 20 volts on 19.88 we can look at currents 0.83 there 0.45 there but of course that's 0.45 at 40 volts which is on this cable uh, 0.83 into that lamp and if I wind the um, boost output voltage up to 50 volts that current shouldn't change because of course it's regulated so 50 volts now going into the input of this that's being bucked back down to 19.88 or just over 20 now uh, let's carry on up to 60 volts and I don't think I'll go beyond that because I don't want to blow this stuff up today but yeah you can drive uh, 60 volts into the input of this thing and it regulates it down to 20 I mean why not go to the full 24 like so so yeah they talk to each other as you might expect Oh, all right, let's go to 70 volts. I mean, I've got to test this thing, haven't I? So, yeah, that's now 70 volts on the input of the buck converter. Bucking down, not actually getting angry or anything. Um, bucking down to 24 for that bulb. So that all works well. So I'll just get um, a printout of um, the details for this and uh, we'll take a look at um, what it's called on eBay. And at 70 volts, of course, the current is lower and that could be very useful if, and this is uh, CCA wire, this is copper coated aluminium. So if you had a long run of wire with a significant resistance, um, it would be useful to go to a higher voltage. You can barely see that, but uh, so that you can overcome the resistance of your transmission line, particularly if this piece of wire was a significant length. And one quick final test, how does this thing like its input being changed ra uh, rapidly from 70 volts down to 12 volts and then back up again? <laughs> well, it seems to be able to cope. Yeah, that's okay. So here's the item I purchased, uh, $17.80. The price actually from this seller, which is, oh, where's the seller's name on? Oh yeah, XS Par. Has gone up to $20 but I've seen you can get this for $19 from other sellers I'll try and find a link and I'll put it in the description below um, input voltage 6 to 60 volts power 600 watts now you're not going to get 600 watts of power through this thing with 6 volts on the input because that would imply 100 amps and it's got a 15 amp fuse on there that little blue fuse and in fact on page 2 it says uh, maximum current is 10 amps so in fact you're only going to get 600 watts through this thing if you've got 60 volts on the input and you're raising that up a little bit on the output so um, ignore that number it's only relevant if you're right at the high end of input and output voltages but uh, those are the parameters and that's a bit of description about the unit so at some point I want to uh, repeat that experiment from a few years ago that I had always planned to do which was to take uh, low voltage DC 12 volts typically raise it up to a nice high voltage like 70 volts run it over quite a long length of fairly thin uh, well copper or even this aluminium wire buck it back down again and uh, try and draw a useful amount of power out from the output of the buck converter but I'm not going to be doing that today so that's it cheerio